This is an introduction to the website and a walkthrough of the Getting Started tab. Here on the home page, there are several interesting elements. One is this About the Site section, which tells you about the research from which this website was developed. There's also the news feed, the recent blog posts, the forum posts, and then your basic introduction. But this box at the top is my favorite. We developed this website after interviewing librarians who were either in the process of or who had already migrated to an open source integrated library system. And this box has quotes from those interviews. The Getting Started tab is broken into two main sections, the What is OSS ILS and the ILS Research section. This is, of course, the introductory page. As you can, can see, there are three ways to navigate this website. Basically, there are three levels of navigation. You've got tabs at the very top, and then you've got the next step down, which is this on the right, where you see the section that you're on and all of its subpages. Whereas at the bottom of the page, it tells you what the previous page is and what the next page is, in case you want to go through the website in order. So this is just a very basic introduction to open source integrated library systems. This page basically tells you that we're focusing on Evergreen and Koha. We are US based and these are the two open source ILSs that are most common. So these are the two we focused on. However, we are aware that there are many, many other open source ILSs out there. So on this other ILS page, we list several of them. Some of them are more common in other countries. Some of them are more specific, like collective access is really meant for museums and archives and digital collections, whereas most of our research has, fo has focused on more traditional libraries. We do have a fax page. Some of these we've added based on feedback from the website. Some of them we thought were pretty obvious questions to include. It is important to note that on the right there are links to other fax pages for both Evergreen and Koha. And then we have a terminology page. One of the things most people are concerned about with open source is getting the terminology. So we have this available so that everything on our website, if you don't know what it is, you should be able to find it on this page. And that leads us to our next section, which is the ILS research. This website is really meant to guide you through the process of migrating to an open source ILS. With that in mind, this section hits some of the major elements that you should be considering in determining which ILS to migrate to. And one of the best pages, if you're still trying to decide whether you should be going to Evergreen or Koha, is going to be this ILS evaluation page. In it, there are pros and cons for both. There's a little section on cost. One of the things that you will see throughout the website are best practices. We develop these based on the interviews and a review of the literature. And then once again, on the right, there are links to outside sources to provide additional information. The installation requirements page is actually a page we didn't have initially, but created based on feedback. There are other places to find the requirements for Evergreen and Koha, but a lot of times in order to find it, you kind of have to dig through the manuals and documentation. So we just have it up here really plain and simple for you so that you don't make it more complicated than it needs to be. This migration page focuses on data preparation, but as you'll see later, data preparation is really only one stage of the migration process. We do have a section on working with vendors. Often libraries, when they move to open source, do want to at least start with a vendor to get them up and running and to provide some, some additional support just so that they feel more confident. This resource page the most important part of this page is, the, is this project management tools on the right. We found that one of the biggest issues libraries were having was that their migration team, especially if they were a consortium, needed a way to share information and documentation. This best practices page, as I said, throughout the website you'll see best practices, but this page has all the best practices for 
every step in your migration process. That is the end of the Getting Started tab. By the time you get off this tab, you should have made a decision on whether you're going to migrate to Evergreen or Koha. Once you make the decision of which ILS to move to, I suggest you look at the specific Evergreen or Koha tutorials.